With mild weather in early March, farmers were able to get a lot of the rice planted across South Louisiana, but those farmers did not expect temperatures to dip into the 30s. That occurred in the latter part of the month. Toby Blanchard has our story on how those colder temperatures are affecting this year's rice crop. It's been a cold start for rice. About half of the state's crop has been planted, but freezes and frost in late March slowed planting and seed germination. Also, the weather has been dry since planting began. One of the worst things was really the wind that's associated with these cold fronts. Uh, that really desiccates the rice. This field was planted more than a week ago. Sachuk says plants should be emerging, but the cold weather halted plant development. If we don't have enough heat units, we just don't make the growth. Sachuk says rice acreage will likely be at its lowest level since Hurricane Rita devastated southern rice growing parishes. The state typically has around 450,000 to 500,000 acres. Sachuk estimates acreage will be below 400,000 this year. Wheat prices for rice with strong prices and other commodities are to blame for the decline in acreage. In Evangeline Parish, many rice farmers also produce crawfish in the same fields. Many farmers will likely leave these fields in crawfish and not plant rice in them. They will drain those very, very late this year because the price is pretty good. Catch has been average and they're making money with the crawfish. Once they drain the crawfish ponds, they will probably plant soybeans instead of rice. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. Most of the rice planted is in the southern part of the state. Rice farmers in northeast Louisiana should begin planting their crop sometime next week.